Hey, witches. It Hello. is fan cap time. Woo. I hope you can understand me with my crazy fucked up voice today. I'm just emotional. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've had the worst cough. And I actually coughed so hard I peed on myself last night. That was fun. <laughs> you know, life, man. I've never even had babies and I'm peeing on myself when I cough hard enough. But you know, fuck. everybody, like, <laughs> Will thought he broke a rib the other day. A close friend of mine broke a rib, like, legitimately. So, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Life sucks. <laughs> it's crazy shit. Why is it red again? Sorry, if this sucks, the internet's not doing too hot right now. Yeah, we're having some technical difficulties with the internet connection, and I hope that it's not cutting in and out for you guys. So... You know, 20 minutes away, we're, we're having internet issues, too, so I wonder if it's the area. Oh, maybe. I got kicked out of my class, like, three or four times. I couldn't even, like, make it through hmm. the entire time without getting kicked out, so I just didn't go. All right. Well, <laughs> anyways. Sure. All right. So, okay. to reiterate what we had last time, um, so... No barking pads? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know. My okay. Well, I was just, like... Who we talked about last time. Um, oh. Fuck, maybe. I don't know. The only problem with, like, having the same book for multiple books is, like, trying to figure out. Okay. Where thing? Oh. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Okay, so we had Feyre, Nesta, Elaine, the father, Tamlin, Lucian, Reese, uh, Claire, Better, Isaac, the mercenary, Alice, the Ator, and Amarantha. Did anything change for you? Or are you still solid on your... Nothing changed for me. I, I think... No, I don't think anything changed. I'm still pretty sold on Henry Cavill being Reese. Yeah. But yeah, I also have him written down for someone else this in this book. Yeah, um, just because he's kind of dark and broody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> mm. I love me some Henry Cowell. <laughs> you know, I never really liked him because I only knew him as Superman, and I have such a distaste for Superman. I feel like didn't like him as the actor because of him. But like my best friend, like is in love with her with him, and she's like, "You need to watch these shows with him in it." And I was like. Oh. Henry Cavill, whatever. He was Superman. And then I watched it and I was like, nah, <laughs> never mind. Are you about Witcher? Yeah. Yeah. Like any other movie other than Superman that he was in, anything he's done, show, TV, movie, whatever it is. Like I watched it and I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Superman, no thank you. It was like one of those people that like all clean cut and stuff. You're like, eh. Yeah. But then when they grunge him up and throw some dirt on his <laughs> face, you're like, Okay. Call, call, call it a day. Call it a win. Yeah. Like with Batman, like, it, I think honestly, if I could choose a Batman, it would probably be, I haven't even watched the newest one, but it would probably be, uh, uh, fuck, the Twilight guy. What's his name? Pattinson? Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Sorry. I, I can't want to say Hayden Christensen because of Star Wars is going on right now. But, um, I didn't, I, I mean, I, I think. Robert Pattinson is attractive, but, like, as a Batman, when they grunged him up and, like, made him look mentally ill, I was like, yo, that's kind of hot. Okay, to be fair, I didn't watch that. I didn't watch that. <laughs> just, I just, I could be dead wrong. I have just seen, uh, like, pictures <laughs> of what he has looked like, but he definitely looks like, uh, he's seen a few things. And I, I don't know, maybe I relate to that. I mean, he was in Twilight, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about his back. <laughs> that was probably traumatizing enough. <laughs> That's true. Anyways, okay. Should we start off with the badass one? Amron? Amron is the first person on my list, but I don't care. We can start off with some of these smaller characters. Oh, yeah. Let's work our way up. Okay. Let's do Crusader. I struggled with this one. I couldn't think. I was like, oh, I just came up with another one. Let me get my pen. While I was sitting here thinking about it. Um, I put Re Reese Witherspoon mm. because I like her as a mean girl. But also thinking that along those same lines, what is the girl like Regina George? Um, what is her name? Her Rachel McAdams. Yeah, I could see that too. She'd be good. 
And the nice thing is that, like, they can both be a blonde. However, I think Crusada, because she's from the summer court, has dark skin. Oh. And, like, blonde hair. Because, like, Tarquin is, like... That's true. I was imagining her blonde and, like, blue-eyed. And- yeah, so, because I'm imagining a, like, African-American person or somebody dark... I'm, I'm personally imagining an African-American, but it could be anybody that's, like, dark-complected. However, um, I'm thinking Rita Ora. She looks great as a blonde. And she has, like, really curly hair. I think she was blonde in, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. She was also blonde in, like, the Black Widow video. Yeah. Yeah. See? There you go. That's my, that's my crusade. And it's not, it's like, she could be the mean girl. Because she was, like, the mean girl to people who deserve to be mean. Like, she was protective of her family in, um, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. And, yeah. But she was nice to those who deserved it, but then, like, a mean girl to everybody else. So, like, I can just see her embody that character. Yeah, I could see that. All right, who's next? Um, the queens? Sure. So, the gold queen, the one that we... <laughs> Like who told everybody who believed Reese and Farah, I put Kiki Palmer or Jennifer Hudson because she, her name is Demeter or Demeter or something. Demetra. Demetra. Thank you. I've been playing um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so like Greek names are in my brain right now. Um, it's really sad because like you have to pick up resources in like woods on the way around like you're traveling all over Greece and there's things called olive wood that you have to pick up and I was literally driving home to my cousin's graduation and there was like nothing to be seen except for one tiny shrub in the middle of the road and I was like olive wood and Will looks at me like what the fuck is your problem and as I'm driving down the road I'm like I've been playing this game way too long. <laughs> it's my distraction from life um Demetra. So I had two. Um, I had Beyonce. Ooh, like yes. Throwed out hair, Beyonce. I also had Tori Kelly. She's not as dark complected, but I can see it. Yeah, like I was thinking, I was imagining her hair as her crown, like so. Yeah. Big curly hair yeah, and like blonde. She's supposedly dark complected with curly hair. Yeah, that's what I was imagining. Which. Is that how Crusada is looking, or did I just mix Crusada up with the Gold Queen? But the Crusada is from the Summer Accord, though, so I would expect her to be dark. I just didn't picture her that way. The blonde hair, though, I think I'm yeah. just on that. Darkness, yes, because Tark, not Tarquin. Who's the, the brother? Not Tarquin. Oh, shit. I don't remember what his name is. Fuck. Um, her brother, essentially, looks just like Tarquin. Yeah. Anyways. Um... The crone queen. I got three. I only have one because I just, once I thought of this one, I couldn't imagine any Which yours? Catherine O'Hara. Really? Yeah. I mean, no. I didn't think that. That was good, though. Okay. Imelda Staunton. Who was that? She played Umbridge in Harry Potter. Ew. Yeah. (laughs) Also, Julie Walters, who played Molly. But she, like, I can see her okay. be, like, Yeah, because asshole. she's also, like, in Mamma Mia. Yeah. Like, she's, but she's a fun character in Mamma Mia. Yeah. But, yes, Julie Walters um, and Judy Dench. Okay. I don't know. What I came up with Catherine O'Hara, I couldn't see <laughs> anyone else. I can see that. I can see so that. I stopped because I just fucking love her. And, like, I didn't even really know who she was until, I mean, like, I heard of her. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know who she was until Shit's Creek. Oh. And have you ever watched Beetlejuice? I have, but it's been so like I didn't She's a stepmom. Well no, I know, but like <laughs> I didn't It's been so long that like I didn't I don't remember her as that. I remember her as Moira Rose. Listen, if she can embody Moira Rose but also embody like the like me, me, me personification from Beetlejuice, she she would make a good one. Yes. Honestly though. But Imelda Sutton, I, like, as soon as I wrote Julie Walters, I just, like, immediately thought of Umbridge, and I was like, that bitch. Like, oh my god. Like, the most. <laughs> Fucking for real. You know she played a damn good character when, like, people, like, 
Yes. You can't even see her as any other character other than that. It's kind of sad because that can really kill your like acting career. But it's fucking phenomenal. She's great in any other movies I've seen her in. But like every time I see her, I'm like, fucking I'm great. <laughs> it's funny, though, that you say that because I feel like that happens a lot. Like Daniel Radcliffe did that unicorn thing where he was like naked. And I was like, Harry Potter, what are you doing? Put the clothes on. Like, <laughs> is that the one where he, uh, where he like <clears throat> dressed in drag and did the blue? Um, where he like he'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. When she comes, you ever seen that? I've seen that, but I don't think that's the same thing. I know. I think that's from a movie. I don't remember which one it is, but yeah, that's funny. And then like Emma Watson just keeps playing the same character over and over again. Like Belle and Hermione are the same character. They are, yeah. Like the only character she played that was a little different was that person being a wallflower. Oh yeah. Um, and listen. We can have a whole conversation, but Ron is literally the beast. Oh my god, I love that. He literally is. He yeah, is. and also, like, this is a total tangent, but can we talk about how the movie has completely destroyed Ron's character? And, like, any redeeming qualities he had, they fucking destroyed. Well, here's the thing. They... I didn't read the books, but when I read from book stands, they're all like, you know, I absolutely hate that Jenny got, like, all of these things that should have gone to either Hermione or Ron or Harry when really it like in the book, it was nothing like that. So she got all these characters and all these like things when she was the complete opposite in the book. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I didn't like her as a character in the movies at all. Movie Jenny sucked. I think so. I think they also fixed the relationship. Yeah. They have no chemistry. Like those two. What about even in the book? They do in the book. In the book, the relationship goes really well. I really like it. But, like, those two actors had no chemistry, and it's nothing against her. She just wasn't that character. It's just really weird watching the room of requirement scene where she's like, close your eyes. Yes! She's creepy! And then, like, he's just like, okay, every time I close my eyes, there's somebody trying to kill me. Right, like, no, it's just... It's just so weird. And and that's not how that scene happened in the books either. Listen, I will die on this hill. The Harry Potter books are so much better than the movies. Like, I read them every year, and then after I read them, I can't, I don't have enough, so I listen to them on the audiobook. Like, <laughs> they, the movies are shit compared to the books. Honestly, though. All right, sorry. Wrong fandom. Tangent alert. Uh, <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> we did the Crown King, Queen, I mean. Let's do Kier. Okay. I have two totally different people for this. Um, you're going to laugh at me. Same in a way. <laughs> Not really. Technically, now that I look at them and I think about it, I'm like, nah, they're the same person. But okay. Well, one of mine is like super fucking old. Oh, <laughs> and the other one's not as old, but I could see him playing this character. I'm, I'm, when I think Kier, I, first of all, I don't think beautiful or handsome or anything no. like that. I don't know why. I mean, same with Jurian. I don't think he's cute or handsome at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I really honestly think Feyre is just trying to get okay, I did pick, her pants. I did pick an attractive. I picked attractive people for, like, Highburn and, like, Kier and Jurian. Not gonna lie. How- I didn't pick an attractive person for Kier. Neither one of mine are attractive people. I think they're attractive. They might not be other people's attractive, but I can see them playing, like, a dick character. So, what, what are yours? My first one is Christopher Walken. Ooh! No, definitely not attractive, but I can see it. Right, and that's what I'm saying, old. Like, he's yeah. old. But I was, like, like a gnarly old king who's just, like, a dickhead. Yeah. My second one is going to surprise people. And it's, people are going to be like, what? I don't think he can play that kind of character. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> but I just can see it. Like, Steve Carell. Stop. <laughs> I told you you were going to laugh at me. I love it. Right? It's stupid, but I love it. Right? I can just see it. Like, and like, he'd be a dick, but like, in a comedic relief kind of way. I'm like, just, I'm just seeing The Office. Right? Like, <laughs> I can see. Right. I'm so obsessed with The Office. It's <laughs> Listen, I didn't used to be like, the first time I tried to watch The Office, I couldn't get through the first season. And then Brittany was watching it one time and she was like much seasons much later with like Kelly Four and like I love 
her, not that character, but Mindy Kelly. Yeah. Um, so I watched it and I was like, okay, I need to go back and force myself to right. watch the first season. And now I love it. When, so I hadn't watched it like ever. And I went on a date with somebody and after like lunch or whatever, he lived like an hour and a half to two hours away from me. Jesus. I know. Well, we matched when we were much closer together. So that was annoying. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. I've never been to the area. Fuck it. I'll go. So I went. Plus, they don't have to know where I live. Right. So best believe I have your pictures, your address, like anything I can find on you. And all my friends know it. So try to fuck with me. <laughs> right. Um. But I... So we went into his house and he was like, yeah, you want to watch some Netflix? And I was like, look, I'm not going to Netflix and chill. And he was like, that's fine. I, I really, I'm obsessed with The Office. And you made a comment how you never watch The Office because he sent me like gifts. And I had, is it GIFs or GIFs? I don't fucking know. The GIFs. I'm, I'm going to call them that so nobody gets pissed off. Um, they sent me those of The Office and I didn't get any of <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to lie. I don't get any of this. So that's what we did. We watched an episode of The Office. I literally thought it was the most stupid thing ever. I hated Steve Carell because he was such an asshole, but not like he was a shit asshole. Yeah. Like, he was like, I want him in jail. Kind of like right. pissed me off. And then I was like, all right, fine. Let's watch a second, like another episode. And then I started getting into it. And then I got more into it. And then I was like, okay, we're done. Like, all right, got to go. Bye. And I left. And then I went home and I binge watched it. <laughs> And then when Will and I started dating, that's what would be on in the background. We'd be on our phones, we'd be doing other things, but the office was always on, so like we could tune in whenever because we both watched it. And it was like just a really nice pastime. And yeah, then, like, Netflix got rid of it, but it's fine. I bought the seasons. <laughs> no, I feel that too. Yeah. But then, like once um, Will Ferrell got on there, I was done. Like, <laughs> first of all, I don't like him as an actor. Like. Every character he's ever played is my fucking nurse. The only show that I've ever seen him in that I was like, okay, was Anchorman. Mm -hmm. See, I can, he embodied Elf because that's essentially his. That I hate movie. Christmas movies. I hate anything to do with Christmas, Christmas, or at least favorite mm -hmm. holiday. It's just, it's lost all meaning for me over the years. And every time someone's like, with that stupid fucking elf and i'm just like i hate you so much <laughs> but it, it's just like that's his characters that's who he plays and it's just like well that was a perfect kind of character to give him because that's who he is yeah god it gives me a headache <laughs> anyways okay who'd you have um dan stevens he played beast in the live action um okay the beast okay i also had jude law because I've seen him be an asshole in some things, but he's, like, attractive. And he could probably birth a very attractive more. That's fair. Now, there's some there's some parents out there where, like, the beauty is all in the mother and the father has none. And so, like, the kids are beautiful. But there's also some people out there who, like, parents are meh, but they have the most beautiful baby kids. Yeah. So, like... How to make it somehow make sense. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, that's that, that's not for real. Blah, blah, blah. Society sucks. But anyways, so I had those two. I don't, I've never seen Dan Stevens in like a role where he could be like an asshole or like a most uncomfortable, like misogynistic dick. <laughs> but Jude's been there. <laughs> right. He kind of is in real life. Cheat on his wife with his nanny because he can. Like, yikes. Bring real life to the stage. Anyways. <laughs> Ooh we. All right, who's next? Who's next? Uh, I say either Highburn or Jurian or no, not High. Let's do Tarquin. That's who I would think in Tarquin. Tarquin. Jeffy Williams or Tom Ellis. <laughs> what? <laughs> now I need to make sure I'm thinking of the right people here. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Dead silence. <laughs> well, so like, first of all, Tom Ellis is white. 
I get it though from Lucifer. Like, yeah, I could see that. Um, Whoa, I do like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Not Tom Ellis. Sorry, kick him out. That was for a different one. I ran out of room. Okay, I was like, he's Sorry. Right. Sorry. I was like, Tom Ellis. Wait, who the fuck is that? I don't remember a black guy named by the name of Tom no, Ellis. That's why I was like, hold on, let me make sure I'm thinking the right so person. Then I looked at him and I was like, oh, wait, no, he's supposed to be for the person above because, you know, I run out of room and I. Okay, anyways, just Jesse Williams. Okay, I can see that. I had Michael B. Jordan Ooh, as one of them. Oh, I had two. Yes. So I went one super, super attractive. The other one, this character kind of makes me think of like a nerdy dude who's just like chilling and doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. So I said William Jackson Harper. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Which for those of you who don't know who that is, um, he played Chidi in The Good Place. And I think he's played some other things too, but that's where I know him he from. Was such a good. Yeah. Uh, and he just like that like nerdy like show. embodiment yes. of Chidi as Tarquin was what I was thinking. Um, yes. And still also, like, I mean, he's not, like, attractive, attractive, but not bad looking. Right. So, well, like, and I think my thing with the whole Jesse Williams is because he already has, like, he already has white eyes. Yeah. And sometimes when you put, like, contacts in people that people recognize. So, like, for instance, people know me for brown eyes. If I show up one day with blue eyes, it's going to throw the whole, like, image off. Like, people are going to be, like stuck on that yeah so when you focus on getting a character to match what they look like well listen if they can take harry potter whose biggest thing in the book is that he had his mother's True. eye and then give him brown eyes in the movies because the contacts fuck with Daniel reckless eyes i mean we can do it in this too yeah but black people with blue eyes are just so fucking attractive so they shouldn't <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> White people with green eyes? All right, fine. We can change that. As long as the mother has the same fucking eye color. Yeah. Does, she, does she have brown eyes? Or I think so. Eyes? No, I think it was it's supposed to be green. Harry Potter was supposed to have green eyes. Does he have blue or brown? Brown. Brown. I don't look at his eyes. So. Sometimes I can't get past the glasses. When I see him without glasses, I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> it's so bad when you play a character... The same character for so long. Your car. <laughs> yeah, like, who are you? <laughs> God, anyways. All right. Tarquin, Jesse Williams. For me. All right. Who's next? Hybern? Either that or Ianthe. But I have an Ianthe up here as well. I don't know. Which one? Right, let's do Ianthe. Okay. I feel like Hybern is such a big character that you should be, like, towards the end. Yeah, I feel like we don't know a lot about him yet. I mean, I know we know a lot about him, but we haven't met him enough yet. So I think you're going to laugh at who I picked for him. But anyway, I Anthe. <laughs> you're probably going to lose it when I tell you who I picked for him. I Anthe. Do you want to go first? Sure. I had Lady Gaga. Well, oh, yes. That's, yes. Right? Yes. I also had Amanda Seyfried. But oh, okay. I like Lady Gaga better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Amanda Seyfried. Wait, I just read something where her name's not Seyfried. It's Say Fred. Say Fred. Oh. I don't know. It's like low. It's not Lohan. It's Lowen. Lindsay Lowen. And well, then, whatever the fuck her Alicia name is. Alicia Silverstone. It's Alicia. That's a big one. I know. She posted it. She goes, yeah, it's it's not Alicia or Alicia. Alicia. It's Alicia. And I was like, oh. All right, that's a anyway, big one. Anyway, I scroll too much. Anyways, um, I put Natalie Dormer. I thought you were gonna say Natalie Portman, so now that's all I can picture. Now. Oh, uh, Natalie Dormer was in like Game of Thrones. She was also ever watched The Forest about the suicide Forest? It's a scary movie about the suicide Forest. I've never seen it. I know about the suicide Forest. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Very pretty. Very yeah. like. She, I don't, I don't picture somebody like skinny, like very skinny, because she's supposed to be voluptuous in some way. Yeah, and I just, I can't get past Natalie Dormer. Okay. She also has that look where she could be innocent, but she could also like she's a bitch, right? Okay. She can play that. I like that. Anyways, okay, <laughs> okay, Jurian. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> You owe me five dollars. <laughs> One coke. Oh my gosh. Okay, Jerry and 
Now, I know that, like, we were talking about how he's not, like, we don't picture him as attractive. The person I picked is somebody who's attractive, but he also plays a creepy character in a show, and that's what made me think of him. So, I picked Remy Malik. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Right? So, yes. he played in, um, fucking A, what is that show? Shadowhunters. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she, he's been in a lot of movies where he was kind of like a creepy. Yeah, he, he usually was a plays vampire. like kind of a creepy. Yeah, he Twilight. Was, he was a vampire in. Um, he was an iRobot. Shadowhunters too. Uh, iRobot. Uh, no, not iRobot. It's like Mister something or another. He like played like a hacker, I think. Yeah, but he usually plays like that kind of like, like creepy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason why I don't think. Jerrion is attractive is because the one the way he's described honestly brown hair brown eyes I think that would be attractive like a jawline kind of thing but like when somebody takes that and puts their own rendition on it that's all I can see so if you go to the A Court of Thorns and Roses wiki page the fandom page and you click on Jerrion that's what he looks like okay. he looks gaunt yeah, kind of, like, unhealthy, almost. Like, yeah, like, mentally unstable. Like, in, what is his name? Adam Driver? <gasps> that! Got a new one. <laughs> yeah. That, I, that, that picture, that's what makes me think. Yeah. See, and so I'm just, like, but, like, if you, like, type in here, I'm just like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> um, not more. Kier. Damn it. K-I-E-R. Our guitar. Um, I put... For Jurian, Luke Evans, Gaston. Oh, okay. I, I have, apparently, I'm, I'm Harry Potter beating the beast thing right now. I like that. I like it. Um, but also, Tom Ellis, because he played a very convincing Satan. Yeah. And not Satan, Lucifer, but mm -hmm. Satan. Yeah, very, very good. And Johnny Depp. Okay, but like how I said, Adam Driver. Like, if you see young Johnny Depp, like Ichabod Crane, Johnny Depp, he looks like Adam Driver. Yeah, like Adam Driver could play Johnny Depp's son. So I can see that because I almost said or a young Johnny Depp. Yeah. So it's funny that you say that. I like it. Listen, this was short. I made this shortly after the. What we found out about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Okay. So, like, I was just like, fuck it. Johnny Depp. Amber Heard, Johnny Depp. Anyways. Um, yeah. So, I think, I think they could play, like, the, we know Johnny can play, like, on edge. Anything. Well, and anything. here's the thing. We don't know if he's on edge. We think or assume right. he's on edge because of everything. He could be perfectly sane, and he could have his own agenda, because, you know, everybody in this series has their own agenda. So, except for fucking Feyre, she just goes along with everybody else's shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is, the highest bidder. But, yeah, so I, I think any of those three could play a very, very convincing, unhinged kind of person. I like it. Without, like, losing their mind. Um, okay. Okay. Should we do hybrid or should we save the Court of Dreams or should we do Court of Dreams? Let's go ahead and do a hybrid because I feel like the Court of Dreams is like the best. Part. Yeah, like the, the best for us. Those are our main characters. Like. Okay. You're going to laugh at me. <laughs> I was like, I imagine him as like crusty and I know he's not. Like, I know he's supposed to look like younger. <laughs> But I imagine him as like crusty and old, and just so I have to let Sylvester Stallone. So that's who I would. I love it. <laughs> okay, so if you go to the wiki page, this is what it looks like. Not that far off. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> he obviously has like he's got a very long pointed nose. He's got like a butt chin. Uh, he's got um. Like chiseled jawline. Chiseled. That's what the word I've found for. I got, I got, so I can't do that. Um, and then kind of like sunken in dark eyes with like grayish overtones. So I need you to know, whenever somebody says butt chin, all I can think of is Jim Carrey. <laughs> what, what show is even that? Is that show or movie? It's a movie. Yes, Man? The butt chin. 
oh, it's, um, isn't that, um, like, did you get, like, plastic surgery or something yeah. like that for it? It's me, myself, and Irene. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Me, myself, that's fucked up. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> um, okay. Is that all you had? That's you? all I had. That's all that shirt's alone. I have two. Johnny Depp. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, like, he, would, he would be so good. Honestly, I would be like, you know, fuck Reese, fuck everybody else, go with Hyber. I'm such a huge Johnny Depp fan. I have always been a Johnny Depp uh, fan. Me too. Me it's too. It's like, when I first, sorry. I Starting with like Edward Scissorhands, yeah. like all the way back. Literally, his, the first movie I ever watched of his was Nightmare on Elm Street, which was one of his big breaks. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I like that factor. And I was a child. I wasn't even like old enough to, I probably shouldn't have been watching this. That's probably why I'm such a huge horror fan now. Um, but I, yeah, I watched that and I was like, yo, I like that dude. Like that, that dude's kind of cool. And so then I watched Edward Scissor's hand, Scissor hand and I was like, Oh, this is even better. <laughs> right. So my first Johnny Depp the experience was, um, Speedy Todd. <gasps> oh God. Um, the other night at play practice, we started singing Sweeney Todd because we were talking about like musicals or plays we would love to do. And uh -huh. someone said Sweeney Todd, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, right. Because I have to talk in a Cockney accent. And so we were talking about like Cockney accents that I could like listen to and portray. And I have to sing in a Cockney accent. So, like, just trying to get like high pitched Cockney going. And so I was just like, Sweeney Todd. I, can, I need to watch the original Sweeney Todd. And I was like, but I don't want to watch the original. I want to watch Johnny Depp. <laughs> right. Elena Bonham Carter. I love her. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. She is my spirit animal. Everyone wants Stevie Nicks to be the spirit animal. No, I want I want her. Yeah. I can see that. She, I do really like Stevie Nicks, too. Right? I do. I do, too. She's my close second. But, no. Yeah. She's supreme. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, And I'm not going to say his name correctly. Mads Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen, Michaelson, Mads, something or another. He, <clears throat> I think he's a James Bond villain. Um, that doesn't help me. It's M A D S, M I K K L E S O N. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm like Dana Chapter. I like this. He's the Fantastic Beast. He took yeah. Johnny Depp's character. Um, bullshit. But that's not going to. Yeah, I know. it's fine. I think Disney requested him to come back for Pirates of the Caribbean, offering him like three and a half million dollars. Um, <clears throat> I think the one movie that really kind of set it off for me, that made me think he would be a good one. Um, what is it? I, I haven't watched the Fantastic Beast movie with him in it. I haven't watched it yet either. Uh, Clash of Titans was one of them. Um, Indiana Jones and Hannibal. He was really good in Hannibal. I don't know any of those, but from looking at the pictures, I can definitely see it. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. Yeah. I would prefer it be Johnny Depp. Because I think Johnny Depp's a little too old for Jurian. I mean, I know he's supposed to be like 500 plus years old, but Jur Jurian should have been like 30. Yeah. Five, maybe. When right. he died. Or not died, but. Yeah. I mean, basically. Yeah. Um, so I think Luke Evans would be, although I think Luke Evans is like 40. <laughs> he's not far behind. Five. But. Um, so yeah. Ugh. I agree. Okay. Whew. Okay. Should we do Amarin, Cassian, or Asriel? Do we need a break today, you think? No, I only, we only got three left. That's true. Four. It's probably going to be like 45 minute episodes. So. Okay. okay. Break. No break for you. If you no need a break, break. I'll pause it. Okay. okay. I, if you ask me, I'm going to save Amarin for last. Okay. So. Let's just do Asriel, Cassian, then Amarin. And more. Oh, fuck. More's out at the bottom. All right. We'll do Azriel, Cassie, and more Amarin. Okay. <laughs> Azriel. I had Liam Hensler. Oh, okay. And Henry, Henry Cavill. Funny. <laughs> I, I can see Liam Hensler, though. Yeah. Um, Get him some dark hair. See, 
even today, I know Azrael has like the short kind of scruffy hair, but I still imagine him as like the long yeah, hair. I do too. Just because like the the more stoic, quiet character always has like long yep. hair and then the more annoying <laughs> comedic character has the short hair. So like their their views are switched. I imagine them both with long hair. But yeah. I kind of sometimes I imagine Reese with long hair and then I like I imagine him with short hair. But like Cassian and Azriel, I imagine both with long hair. It's like the king and his men. <laughs> yeah, right. Um I for Azriel I have Matthew Daddario. Who the fuck is um <laughs> Who the fuck is that? See, I now that you say that, I really need to write like who they play in because when you say that I fucking forget. <laughs> I don't know most mm-hmm. actors' names, so if I do know their name, then they've made some kind of mark. Okay. Um, there you go. Yeah. So, he was in Shadowhunters. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he was really great in Shadowhunters, so I can see him in that. He wasn't in a lot of them. Um, he was in Cabin Fever in 2016, which was good. Um... His sister, Alexandra Daddario, is so pretty. Oh, yeah. She was in... She was in... Um... Percy Jackson. Yeah, Percy yeah. Jackson. She, she was, was in Percy Jackson. Yep. Blue eyes really got me on her. I was like, I want to have dark hair and blue eyes. <laughs> Mother, how dare you? No, she can't hear this. Mother, let me look to the sky. Um... So, yeah. I think... Yeah, I think... Him for Israel for me. Cassian. Oh, I'm Chris Hemsworth. I think it's like Chris Hemsworth and Liam Hemsworth. So like, yeah, they look similar. They're brothers. But I like brothers. it. And then I also had Jason Momoa. I had Jason Momoa. I think it's just because of like his personality. Yeah. As of, like whatever. He's like this big terrifying dude, but he's also like a big teddy bear. bear. Yeah. So I mainly pick him. I mean, his, I don't personally know him and I don't lame to know him so, like when I went to Comic Con before I even watched Game of Thrones. I had no idea. Like I never wanted to watch Game of Thrones at this time. It wasn't on my radar, but like I went to Comic Con in Indy in Indianapolis. I realized nobody knows what Indy is unless you like say it's it all out. Yeah. yeah. So Indianapolis, Indiana, in USA for the our international listeners. I went to Comic Con and two huge characters, um the Hound, I don't know his actual name and it's also scottish so i can't pronounce that and jason momo were there they were there for like a two-hour panel for game of thrones and of course being the only person not watching game of thrones i was like okay well i guess i'll just go i have no idea what the fuck that anyone's talking about but i'm gonna go every day we went for two hours because two girls in my group were like in love with the show wanted to go see it every day so that Saturday night, one of the local bars downtown was having a like Comic Con themed party, and I love this place it's called Taps and Dolls. I don't, I haven't been to it recently, but like back then, it was like a shit, like a good shit. It was a good place to go. So we went and we went to the Sky Bar, which is like the third floor, and I'm literally standing there waiting for a drink in my Black Widow costume and a huge, two tall fucking gigantic men. I'm 5'2", so, like, 6'5 men behind me come up, and, like, they're ordering Guinness. And I was like, why do we know that voice? I've heard it today. Turn around. There's fucking Jason Momoa and this dude right behind me, like, waiting for their fucking Guinness. And I was like, (laughs) oh, my God. I think I would have just died on the spot. I was like, (laughs) and the guy who played the hound was so nice. He was like, like, do you need a drink, ma'am? And I was just like. I don't know who you are, but I know who you are. I know you're a celebrity. Right? And <clears throat> Jason Momoa like made a joke. He goes, "Of course, she wants a Guinness. If she doesn't want a Guinness, I'll take it." And I was just like, <laughs> mouth dropped open, and I was just like, "These are celebrities? What?" And so they bought me a Guinness, and of course, I love Guinness. It's one of my favorite beers, and so I was like, <laughs> "No, you may not have my beer. I want it." <laughs> You spent your hard-earned cash on me, and I'm going to keep it. 
forever. Don't I know, know him. Like, I don't know him personally. I never really personally talked to him, but like my friends were trying so close to inch to the hound to talk to them <laughs> while I was standing in between them while they were waiting for their beer. I was just like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but like, it's just how he was acting with people he didn't even know. I was like, Yo, he'd be a cool dude. Right? I saw him also flirt with a bunch of women, but... Well, and all of his, like, the memes and the TikTok and shit yeah. I've seen of him. He it's just seems so fucking funny. <laughs> okay, so there's a meme of Jason Momoa, like, bent down, like, Like, writing. creeping up, yeah. yeah. On Henry Cavill. And the, I can just imagine him as Reese and him as Cassie. Yes! That is... That right there is why I want those two yes. people. I like it. So that's, what, that's all I can imagine. And I'm just like... I want it so bad. <laughs> yeah. But it, I could just imagine, I don't know, that is his character. That is who he is. Yes. I have witnessed it personally. And, you know, there have been some celebrities who, even in that, wouldn't even have acted that way. Yeah. So. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. And at that time, somebody at the bar was trying to give me his business card and so that I could, like, text him or whatever, because he was buying me drinks all night, and I was like, oh, I don't fucking care. That's why I'm wearing a Black Widow costume, so I don't have to spend any money. <laughs> right? Uh, and then I'm just like, ooh, behind me. <laughs> oh, like the valet driver. I think I would have fucking died if I met Jason Momoa in person. I did. I just sat there, and I have, like, a picture from the night, but, like, of course, I was drunk, and, like, in the background, they're in the background, but the flash is so bright on our faces, you can't see them, but they're right there. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, just Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, more. Sarah Highland. Oh, yeah, I like that. Also, Mila Kunis. Oh, I like that too. That's Sarah Highland. I put Margot Robbie. Oh my god, I love Margot Robbie. <laughs> yeah. I loved her as um, Harley Quinn. Yeah, I don't like Batman, but if I could choose my favorite like villain duo, it'd be Harley Quinn and Joker. I know it's a toxic relationship, but I still fucking love it. But then mine would be Harley Quinn and Ivy. I do like that one too. But I love Margot Robbie. Yeah, and I can just see it. Um, I can just see it though, because it's like obviously she already looks the part. But she, and she's played badass characters, so, like, we all know she can do it. Yeah. And I've seen Sarah Hyland play, like, a semi-badass character, but it was also poorly directed and poorly written. It was in Vampire Academy. Okay, there. Where she was, like, the, have you watched that movie? Yeah. I know you've read it. It was really bad. Yeah. She, remember her character? Yeah. Fucking horrible. It was really bad. It was a great character, too, and it's not like she... She also played in Shadowhunters. Who hasn't? <laughs> she played the fairy queen. Like, you know how she would change her yeah. age? She played one of the ages. Um, and she did it really well. So that's what made me think of her for more. First of all, who hasn't played in Shadowhunters? Fucking for real. I feel like every single person on here has been. <laughs> um, yeah. I stand Margot Robbie. I like it. Okay, the badass of them all, Amryn. Okay, I got three of them, and they're all Asian. I have two, and uh, they're all Asian. Yeah, she's got eyes that slant at the corners. I guess. None of mine are Asian, but I have two, and then Brittany gave me one. Okay, what are yours? So, I had Megan Fox. Don't judge me. Looks-wise, I think it would work, because she's so tiny. Oh, true. And... Like, I don't know how big these people are. I'm imagining her, like, in Transformers and Ninja Turtles, where she does play, like, a badass character. Mm -hmm. I also had Dakota Fanning. Oh. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. She already played a character just like this in Twilight. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. And that's what made me think of it. Brittany's like Kehlani. That's partially just because she's obsessed with Kehlani right now. She's going to her concert. She's doing a VIP meet and greet and everything. Um, we're gonna come back without a wife <laughs> for real. Like, I'm kind of worried, um, but, but honestly, I'd be like, Yeah, kudos. I, w I wouldn't blame her, that. I wouldn't blame her at all, but um, same. But I really want to know Will's like, you know, the movie Hall Pass. If you could ever have like a Hall Pass, who would it be? But I want to do like celebrity version, right? If you wanted a Hall Pass, who would it be? Britney's would be Kalani. <laughs> um. 
I haven't thought about mine yet. It switches. It depends on the day. It also yeah. depends on the month. It depends on what I've been watching. It depends on what's been happening in life. It's yeah. been in the news. Like right now, it'll probably be Johnny Depp. The next day, it'll probably be Henry Cavill. The day after that, it'll probably be like Tom Ellis. I don't even know who it is. I have a type. It's dark hair, blue eyes, dark eyes. It doesn't matter. Eyes. That's why you have eyes. <laughs> it used to be dark hair, blue eyes. But that is not the thing anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't even know. I'd have to really think about it. If you have blonde hair, I'm sorry. I just. Not a thing for me. <laughs> it's not my favorite either. So I get it. I love that Will has like this tiny, like little red patch in his beard. Like it's 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 subtle, but it's there. And like whenever and he hates it every time I look at him, like, oh look at your little red beard. And he gets I hate it. And I'm like, I love it. Listen, everyone who's ever been attracted to me in the history of the world is like, I love it. And I'm like, <laughs> really? So do you like me or do you like my hair? Like, do you want the hair? Go dye your hair red. Right. Okay. I have three for Amron. Was that all you had? That's all I had. So the first one is Jamie Chung. She played, um, she's played small characters in like, um, what's her, what's his name's movies? Um, Adam Sandler movies. We okay. watched Grown Ups. Mm -hmm. So she was one of the daughters of like. Oh, okay. So she was one of them. She also played Mulan. Oh. In. The live action. In Once Upon a Time. Oh, okay. So in Once Upon a Time, she played Mulan. Um, she's an L. She's an LGBTQ character. She was in love with Rapunzel. I don't think I watched that much of Once Upon a Time. But this was like season six, I think it was. Yeah. Um, she was in love with Rapunzel when she was like her escort, and then like when Rapunzel was like, "I'm, I'm okay, I'm wait, no, charming. I have seen that." Yeah, and then I know she, Mulan was like, <laughs> yes. and then, yeah, that one. Um, so her. Um, because I, I, not that I think she's short in stature, but I've seen so many sides of her. I think she could do it. The other one is Sophia Butella. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I don't know how tall she is, but she played the, <clears throat> in the Kingsman. Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, the s first one in the first one. Um, she played a character, she was like one of the henchmen of like Samuel L. Jackson, who was the bad guy. Um, she had like swords for legs. She, uh, they, they were literally, um, like, uh, um, uh, fencing like points that, let me just show it to you. I was gonna say, I am about to think it's crazy. Yeah, it's, really it's really hard to describe, um, Kingsman. Um, but she played a, like a real badass character. See, like that's her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that was her character. So, yeah, that's not what I was imagining. I was imagining some weird ass shit. No. So. Yeah, and like they're like re it's like really really sharp. And she like decapitates a bunch of people, but like she's a badass character. Huh? Um, and I'm also thinking Ming Na Wen. Ming Na Wen played OG Mulan. She also played in Star Wars. She's a bounty hunter in Star Wars. Okay. She did the Disney hat trick. She played a Marvel character. Yeah, she was in Shield Agent Sh <laughs> Shield. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever that show is that Marvel show. She was in that too. She's a little old, but if somebody can like take personify her being right. Okay. And be younger and short in stature. I think they would be perfect. Name. All right. Because it's like Mulan's a fucking beast. Yeah, she is. Um, but you don't realize that until you need to. And it's like Amber walks in the room and everyone's like, oh, that's terrifying. But some people are like, oh, she's short. She's like a little kid. Yeah. So I like it. Okay. Please actually acknowledge our social media and comment with your thoughts and your ideas um or send us an email yes. and we will shout you out in the next episode if you do we just like to know what you guys think yeah we don't hear anything we just see views we yeah we don't know anything other than numbers yeah talk back to us we like to talk back more so 
on any social media website. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.